Okay, we're now going to show you how the speed was set on the computer to 40% and then the power was 100%. Now there's a couple of things that you need to know. If you need to adjust the bed slightly to drop it down, you can use these arrows and they will allow you to drop it down. If you ever need to autofocus, you can press this button here to do it manually just in case you've forgotten to do it on the computer. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to etch the design that appeared on the screen previously. We're going to use this start stop button but before we do that we need to make sure that we put our extractor on which will take a lot of the fumes away. There's not a lot with the fabric however with certain colours of acrylic especially blue, dark blue, it can be quite potent. So the first thing we're going to do is put the extractor on. We're then going to press start. Now it doesn't look very detailed at this point, but the tinted glass on the top is there to protect you. If you ever want to look at what your design is doing, there is some goggles on the top that are tinted to protect your eyes. When you are using the fabric, the settings are slightly different. All of the settings appear on the top of the laser cutter on a sheet ranging from card to acrylic. However, please be aware that you should not be using metal on these machines at all. The etching is coming to the end and I will show you what it looks like in just a second. Please be aware, if you do open the lid for any reason, and you shouldn't, but if the lid is open for any reason, it will smell. It is also going to stop the laser. Just due to health and safety, be very, very careful with these machines and make sure they're set up correctly. We are almost at the end, it's just in the top of the brushes. Once complete, the arm will move across to the right and bleep. It will not turn off automatically. The final thing I'm going to do is lift the lid up and it shows you the etched finish.